The future of the Van Wezel is questioned as plans move forward to reinvent the Sarasota Bayfront Wednesday at a community forum. SNN's Jennifer Vagelis has more. It's the dawn of a new era for the Sarasota Bayfront as the Sarasota Bay Planning Organization lays the groundwork to the community. We've reached over 30,000 people either in person or online and digitally. Um, just in the last 24 hours, we've had over 1,000 people come to our events and provide us feedback. But none of these three visions include the Van Weasel Performing Arts Center. I'm anxious to see what the plans are for the existing Van Weasel. Proposing an amphitheater, bridge, or multi-building structure to take the iconic purple building's place. They've said that they need a new performing arts center to be uh, viable and sustainable for the next 50 or 75 years. Many aren't ready to remove a building filled with 49 years of memories. We consider ways that we could repurpose that building. I think what's important is that uh, is the Van Wezel Foundation and their consultant AMS who has done over 100 performing arts centers is saying that building can't be a performing arts center anymore when a new one comes online because it's not viable for the next 50 or 75 years. Sarasota residents Bob and Ruth Firth supporting the plan. It's, I guess, architecturally nice, but at uh, bottom line, it's not very uh, practical. Hoping for a bayfront built for more than the performing arts community. It's underused for sure. And it's mainly parking lot, and then it's the Van Weasel, which is fine, but it's expensive, so it's not accessible to most of the population. A master plan will be proposed to the Sarasota City Commissioner September 6th. Reporting in Sarasota, Jennifer Vaglis, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.